when the row is called up yonder, without Jesus you won't be there. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So don't think you're going to walk up to God and say, Hey God, look at me how great I am. To Him is how great thou art. As far as mankind, the Bible says, Let God be true and every man a liar. For the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And you're not holy if you're a sinner. You're unholy. And you were born in sin. So you're in trouble. You stand at odds and condemnation against God as a sinner. Violate any of the Ten Commandments. You're a sinner. If you mistreat your mother and your father, the Bible says, honor thy mother and father. You're a sinner. If you ever told one little lie, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, they're all lies. You have a false witness. If you ever set an idol in your heart, oh, I see plenty of idols. I see numbers and cars, and I see uh, advertisement. I see, hey, I'm here at Daytona 500 to worship my great driver. That's idolatry. That's a sin. You have a guy who goes left, 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 left. He never goes right. And if he goes right, he crashes into the wall and burns. Now I'm here to tell you how to get right. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And you won't crash and burn. You'll get your name written in the last book of life. And then when you die, the Bible says, be absent from the body and present with the Lord. It's that plain and simple. The fact is that you're here to see your favorite driver. You're here to see your favorite car. That's idolatry. That's one of the big Ten Commandments. If you ever lie, that's a false witness. If you have ever taken anything that was not asked for, that's a thief. Thou shalt not steal. It's breaking one of the Ten Commandments and you're a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. And you will die because you are a sinner. And without Jesus Christ, you will burn in a hell. And you will remain in hell. Until you have paid for your own sin. And you will never pay for your own sin. So hell is forever. And yet the Bible tells us to go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now that's the gospel. That's the good news. And without Jesus Christ, the Bible says it's the wrath of God. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. The Bible says that he has the Son has the everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him. There is the wrath of God. Yeah, God's a loving God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And reject Jesus Christ, and you will get the wrath of God. I know, it's brutal. Do not believe, oh, God hates the sin and loves the sinner. That's nonsense. When the Bible says if you do not have the son, you will not see light, but you will see the wrath of God. We love him because he first loved us. God is not willing that any should perish. He says, go out there and tell them. Go in the world and preach the gospel. 
Go out to each of those idolaters and tell them they're sinners. Tell them they're wrong. Tell them to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31 <laughs> Tell them it's a hell. Tell them because of their sins, the wages of sin is You may die today. Listen, they've had many accidents at this track where car parts and cars have ended up in the bleachers. Wouldn't it be ironic if your favorite driver killed you today and you ended up in hell? It's possible. There are so many ways to die. And yet there's one way to the Father. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You know, you can't say, hey, I go to church. I ain't going to do nothing. Judas sat with the best church attendance ever, the preacher Jesus, and he still went to hell. The repentant dying thief never was baptized. And Jesus said, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. How good you are when the Bible says there is none that doeth good. And yet that's the number one excuse people will tell me as an evangelist. I'm good. I'm good. You're not good enough. And your good is not good and someone else is good. Listen, a man that steals for a living, that's in a prison, has good things that you don't have good. You may think that drinking beer is good. That's not good to me. Some people think marijuana is good. I don't think it's good. And yet the Bible has set forth a standard that what is good. And what is good is Jesus Christ, the righteous and holy. What is not good, you? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You need to be saved by Jesus Christ. And if you're not going to be saved, if you're going to reject Jesus, you will end up in a place called hell. And you will burn for all eternity. Because you chose to reject Jesus. You chose. And you'll stand before Jesus one day as he will proclaim to you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you because you don't want to know him. And you'll say, oh God, I never knew. And God will say, I sent the preacher on your Daytona 500 Sunday morning and he preached the gospel. He preached the way. He preached the truth and he preached the life. And you rejected it. Now depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Just as much as you're here, you're rooting for your favorite race car, he don't know who you are. He don't care about you. He doesn't want to shake your hand. Yet, yet God sent forth his son, and God says, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as... God wants to meet you. God wants you to come on his terms. And his terms is Jesus Christ. Your favorite driver will never invite you to their house. And yet God invites you to heaven through Jesus Christ. How about that? Go up to your driver and say, I want to dine with you this afternoon. He'll turn you away. Jesus said, come and dine. The master called, come and dine. You can feast with God Almighty. You have opportunity to have fellowship with God where you will not have fellowship with your race car driver and you, can, you come to God through Jesus Christ. Your driver goes left, left, left. He never goes right. And when he goes right, he crashes and burns. When you come to Jesus, you get right and you will not crash and burn. You'll get your name in the last book of life forever. And when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And you may find your driver in heaven. Some of them are saved. Dale Earnhardt 
Scott Sr. before he crashed in the helicopter was a born-again Christian. And he's in heaven right now if he put his faith in Jesus. And if any NASCAR driver is dead and in hell, the scriptures say, go tell my fans about Jesus and don't come to this place. Luke 16. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.